At some point, you may need to transfer an AppSheet app that you currently own over to someone else. And there's a wide variety of reasons why you might need to do this. It could be that you've built an app for a friend and you're ready to give them the app to start using themselves. It could be that you uh, are a consultant and that you build apps for other people, clients, and that you're ready to give the app to the client. Or it could be that there's an app that you've built for your job or that you use for your job and someone else is now coming in to take over that job and you wanna give them ownership of that particular app so they have all the full rights to do whatever they want with it. So that's what we're gonna to cover today. Not necessarily the scenarios, but how you actually transfer the apps, the steps that you go through in order to complete that uh, transfer officially within AppSheet. So if this is your first time stumbling across the channel, welcome. Uh, what we do here is talk about AppSheet. My name is Doug and thanks for watching. I do have a bunch of other AppSheet videos, so if it's something that you're interested in, check those out as well. And if you are returning, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you watching. All right, we're gonna go through the actual transfer process here, but just to talk about it for a minute first, this is a two-sided process. So rather than you just giving the app from someone to someone, they need to uh, participate in the process as well. So that's one thing. When we're covering this, I'm gonna be covering it from both sides, both from the sender and the receiver of the app. So if you uh, are, whoever you're working with on this, you might wanna either, if you're in the same location, uh, you know, if you have laptops, bring them together to work on this at the same time so you can see both sides of this happening at the same time. Or if you're in different locations, maybe send them this video so they can see what the other side looks like, what the actual steps that you need to go through are, uh, just to help smooth that process over a little bit to make sure everyone understands and then either via email or Slack or the phone or whatever, you can actually uh, complete the steps together. So that's uh, you know important point number one. The other thing is that in addition to transferring the AppSheet app itself, you're also gonna to need to transfer any resources that that AppSheet app uses. So for example, one of the most common examples probably is the, the Google Sheet. Like if you, if you use Google Sheets for your data source for your app, you need to transfer over that uh, sheet. There are the permissions and the ownership for that sheet as well because it doesn't come over automatically. So if you want the new owner to own that sheet as well, you'll need to do that transfer and I'll cover that in, in the steps as we go here. So there are eight steps for transferring an app and we'll look at exactly how to complete each one of them in just a minute. But before we do that, let's just talk through exactly what they are. So first, the sender gives the receiver edit permissions on the sheet. So if you've ever worked collaboratively on a Google Sheet or a Google Doc before, you may have done this. It's basically just using that share button and you're giving someone else permission to both view and edit that particular sheet. The next is that the sender gives the receiver edit permission on the app. So if you've ever shared an app sheet app with someone else, you may have done this. It's basically adding a user to the app. And in addition to giving them permission to view the app and work with the app, it's giving them permission to edit the app. And again, I'll show how to do that in a minute. And then next, the receiver needs to accept the invitation uh, and open the app in the editor. So once we completed step two there, AppSheet would have sent out and sent an email to the, the receiver, the person that we added to the app, saying that they're now invited to use this and they can accept that invitation. Once they do that, it will open up the app and they'll then be able to work within that, with that app within the AppSheet editor. Okay, so once the receiver has access to the app, they're in the editor editing it, they can go in and request a transfer of the app. And this is this requests the transfer of ownership of the app from the current owner to the receiver, the person that we just added. So again, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, and then the sender will see, receive an email saying that someone wants to transfer ownership of the app, do you approve it? And then they can go in and actually do that. And then from there, this gets into the cleanup phase of things. So at this point, once we complete step five, the new, the receiver now owns the app. However, 
we still have the sheet, the Google sheet owned by the sender, uh, and there's some other cleanup as well. So that's what the rest of these steps are about. So in this one, we're changing the sheet owner for, so currently again, the, the sender still owns the sheet and in six, we'll change the owner to the, the new owner, the new, the new, uh, app sheet, uh, owner. And then from there, the next thing is that we'll remove the sender from the app. So this is a case, like if you're a consultant, uh, turning over a project to a client or something like that, and you don't want to have access or they don't want you to have access to it anymore, they can go in and actually remove you from both app sheet, which is this step and, uh, the sheet, which is the next step. So you no longer have permission to access anything and the new owner has complete access to everything. So those are the eight steps. Let's go in and look at what this actually looks like in AppSheet. All right, this dad jokes app that we have here is what I'm gonna transfer. Uh, and before we get started, let me just call one quick thing out. So again, there's two different roles that you're working with here, the sender and the receiver. And in the case of this demo, the sender is this Sandy at Pliable Matter user who has the orange background here and the receiver is going to be this showcase user who has kind of a yellow background there. So I'll try to make that clear when I'm editing the video as well as as far as which user we're in at a given time, but I will be switching back and forth between those users to, to, to do each one of these roles for each one of the different steps. So we're gonna start on the sender side. And the first step is that we need to give the receiver edit permissions on the Google Sheet. So I'm gonna do that and I can actually go into Sheets or I can just click on my data source here and I can say view data source. It's gonna open up the Google Sheet. And what you wanna do is use the share button up here to give the receiver, uh, again, edit permission to that. So I'm gonna click share. I'm going to add the receiver, which is the showcase user here. You might have to type in their email address if you hadn't shared with them before. I want them to be an editor, so I'm gonna leave that selected as editor up there, or selected if that's not what came up for you. Uh, and I wanna notify them, so I'm gonna leave that checked. I'll click send, and that is done. So they should now receive an email saying that they're invited to this. The next thing that we wanna do is give the receiver edit permission on the AppSheet app. So this is back in AppSheet again, and you wanna click the share icon, this little user plus icon uh, up here in the toolbar. I'm gonna to click that, and I'm gonna put in their email address again. And I'm going to say that I'm not a robot. And this is important, you wanna select up here that they can edit the app. So not just use the app, but edit the app as well. And I'll also leave notify users on for that, which will send them an email saying that they're uh, also invited to, to now edit the, uh, this app. Okay, and I can click done here. All right, now we're gonna switch back over to the receiver side. And I'm gonna go to my email here. And I have two emails, one inviting me to uh, access the spreadsheet and one inviting me to access the app. So I'm gonna go in um, to the, the one inviting me to access the app. I'm gonna say that I wanna edit the app, which is now opening up that app within the app sheet editor. And over here within the left uh, menu, I wanna select, I'm already there, but if you're not already there, you wanna select the manage uh, option here. And that's gonna bring up this menu. There's these sub menus here and we wanna select collaborate and publish from them. And we want to select transfer here. And again, we're currently on step four and this is to uh, request transfer of the app, which is basically requesting a change of ownership of the app to me, to the current user that I'm logged into. So I'm gonna click that button it says the transfer request is now sent. So that step four is now complete. Now we're gonna go back over again to the sender and we're now on step five and that's to approve the transfer. So I'm gonna go to my email here and you see I've got an email saying that Showcase Applyable Matter has requested that I transfer the Dad Jokes app to them. I'm gonna open that up. 
I'm going to say open editor. It's going to bring me back to this transfer screen again. I again need to uh, expand that. And it's saying that we have a pending request for app ownership change from Showcase. So I want to go ahead and transfer that. That's basically approving that transfer. Okay, so that completes step five. And now we're into the kind of cleanup step phase of things. So the app itself is now transferred to over to the receiver. The receiver has edit permission for it, but in step six, we're gonna actually change the owner of the sheet in addition to having edit permission over to the receiver to kind of formalize things a little bit more. So to do that, I'm gonna go into Google Sheets. I'm gonna open up my dad joke sheet. And again, you could have done this through view data source and app sheet. Uh, either way, get you to the same thing. I'm gonna go back to share again. And right now you see showcase user is set and who is the receiver is set as editor. And I'm gonna click this drop down, and I wanna say transfer ownership. And this is gonna come up with this saying that I'm basically giving away all of my rights to this sheet and that the person can remove me. That's what we want in this particular case. So we're gonna hit yes. And now you see that uh, this updated shows showcase user is now the owner of that sheet. All right, and then our last two steps, seven and eight, are more about doing cleanup to remove the, the sender, the previous owner, from the app. So let's go back over to the receiver, the new owner. And the first step is to receive, remove the sender from the app. Before you do that, you might just wanna refresh here in case you haven't already, just so AppSheet has the kind of latest state of things. So I'm gonna refresh. And let's take a look at what my uh, setup looks like here. So you see that it says I'm the owner. That's good, that's what we want. You see that uh, Sandy, who was a sender, is set as uh, that they're invited here. And you can see that I'm also, even though I'm the owner, I'm also listed here uh, as a user as well. We don't need either one of these last two things anymore. We're now removing Sandy, the sender, from the app. So I can just go ahead and uh, remove them, clicking that menu. and. I'm also duplicated here. I don't need to be an edit app person because I'm the owner and the admin, which is basically giving me permission. So this is kind of leftover from when I was invited before, so I can remove that as well. All right, now we got all that cleaned up. So I'm I'm currently the owner of the app, and if I now if I wanted to add other people, I'd be able to do that. But we got our you know per share permissions kind of cleaned up from the app perspective. So I can click done there. And then the last step is I can also go and remove Sandy, the sender, from the sheet as well. So I'm gonna go back here again. I can say view data source. And again, I'm now the owner of this doc, so I'm able to now remove um, some of the other users, including Sandy, who was the, the previous owner. So I can click share there. And under Sandy, I can click remove access and click save. All right, so now if I switch back over to Sandy, who was the sender, and I close everything out here, and I, you see my access has expired. It's saying I, I no longer have permission to access that thing. You see I need access. So basically, Sandy does not have access to the sheet anymore. If I go to my sheets, you don't see that sheet listed here anymore. And if I go to my app sheet apps, you no longer see that dad jokes app here. So Sandy is completely removed now uh, from all view permissions, all modify permissions, and the app has been completely transferred over to the new user who is uh, that, that showcase user in this case. So again, in this example, the only thing that we had, the only resource that we had was the Google Sheet, but if you had uh, you know, files such as images that had been uploaded into AppSheet, you'd have to transfer ownership of them over in a similar way. If you had App Script, which is one that's a little bit less obvious, uh, linked to a, a uh, AppSheet project, you have to transfer ownership of that over and, and relink everything as well. 
So basically you need to just figure out what resources you have and make sure all of those things are transferred over. And then you can go in with the old account and verify that you no longer have access to those things. And you shouldn't even see them anymore after you've transferred ownership and completely removed permissions from the sender. All right, so that's how the transfer process works. I hope that was clear. If you do have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments. And uh, that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and happy building.